all right so today's topic is tool support for for testing so the first thing we need to remember why do we use tools so can anyone tell me why do we use tools in our day to day um day to day jobs or at home why do you use tools because it makes yeah because it makes your work easy right yeah it makes your work easy in that simple term that's why we use tools so in today's session we're going to discuss different types of tools right and these tools are grouped based on the testing activities so these are grouped on based based on testing activities so what are the different test testing activities that, that we know can you tell me when we do testing what are the different testing activities we do yeah so we do test planning so there are tools for test planning test planning analysis yeah then there are tools for test execution yes test exit mm, we don't need tools for that it's just a document execution yes what about design test design what are the different testing activities got up like when you do testing what what all things you do you do test planning right you do test execution test execution is there test design there are test design tools then we do static testing right so we have static testing tools what else then what about performance performance testing we do that performance testing so we have tools for doing performance testing as well for a non functional testing tool any other you can think about okay so basically we group these tools there are different tools like there are hundreds of tools in the market from different companies that we can use uh, to make our life easy while doing a testing project so we will discuss them one of, one by one based on the testing act is the first tool we are going to discuss here is test management tool so from your exam perspective you only should be able to recognize the different types of tools and what they do you don't need a detailed understanding of these tools all right so just so the questions will be like what is this tool used for or there is a testing activity which tool are you going to use to do perform that activity all right so just remember what are the name names of the different tools and what are they what are these for you don't have to get into the details from exam perspective but at the end of the at the end of the module i'll show you a real test management tool i'll give you an idea how it looks like how it works so the first one is called test management tool and we are discussing tools that support test management first test management tools so any guesses what are these tools for first one is we manage tests using these tools right when i say we manage tests what does that mean like when you run a test 
the this tool maintain the status of your test like initial state will be no run right when you execute a test you can say that it has been executed and if it's passed you can update the status to passed or failed based on your results all right so this is a test managing test so you will have records of all your test cases in the test management tool and when while executing your test cases you can update the status of the test cases like passed failed otherwise you'll have to use all the to do all these things in a spreadsheet so instead of using spreadsheet because it can make you were quite tedious you use test management tools so the first thing is you you use this task manager to manage tests then you can schedule your tests for example if you have list of say 15 tests test cases one say one two three four five six So you can assign on which date you should be running this test case. So, for example, you can say test case one should uh, should be run on second of April. Okay. So, say first four test cases should be executed on second of April, and the next one should be executed on say fifth of April, something like that. And it keeps you. So this is like the you. Know, this comes under planning thing, right? You are planning that these you have got seven test cases and they will be executed on these dates. So it maintains you can schedule your test in using the test management tool. The third thing is that you can assign a tester against those test cases. So you can say the first test case will be executed by Madhu. Second will be executed by Guneep, something like that. So it it just like for the whole test management you use these kind of tools. So you manage your tests. You you can schedule your tests. Then log your test results. So when you execute each activity in a test case, you can write a uh, outcome against that test case. For example, if your test case has got a test step login into a website. So you can say that okay, I I log into website and this this is the expected result. So you can say write a command able to log in something like that. So you're keeping a record of whatever you are executing. All right, then you can use it to have a traceability. Traceability against your requirements. And then this test management tool it can be integrated with different tools like requirement management incident management where you keep your defects and configuration management so example of these this tool is like hp qc hp quality center that we use in telecom and there are other products like tosco or qmetry Any questions in this in test management tool? It's quite simple. So when you'll see it, you'll have an idea what like how exactly it looks look like. So you just have to remember the purpose of each tool. Test manager, yes. Yeah. SP quality center call it. These days it's called ALM application like cycle management. All right. The next one is requirement management tool. Now, can anyone tell me why do we use this tool in testing? To get the requirements, yeah. Because your test cases are based on the requirements, right? So this is quite important. Your test cases must be based on based on.